today we are going to study the very second chapter of footprints without feet and that is the thief's story it is written by ruskin bond well it is a story about a young boy who wants to deceive a very gentle person anil does he succeed in his mission let's read out i was still a thief when i met anil and though only 15 i was an experienced and fairly successful hand here the narrator sees that however he was still a thief but when he was 15 years old for the first time he met with anil and that time he was an experienced and very successful thief he knew that how to pick pocket anil was watching a wrestling match when i approached him he was about 25 a tall lean fellow and he looked easy going kind and simple enough for my purpose i had had much luck of late and thought i might be able to get into the young man's confidence well if you want to cheat anyone that is very easy to win his heart to win his confidence here uh, hari singh however he has uh, a name in this chapter he has named himself hari singh that is thief he says that however he is also a narrator he says that when he met anil anil was watching a wrestling match there and suddenly he just goes there to meet him uh, anil was almost uh, uh, 25 year old he was very lean fellow thin fellow and very tall he was and it was easy for uh, the thief for the narrator to make him fool it was an easy going process he looked very kind and simple enough for his purpose so he approaches him well he says that he hadn't had much luck of late and thought i might be able to get into the young man's confidence well his uh, luck was not favoring him in these days and that's why he just wanted an opportunity so that he could earn uh, many uh, many things that he just wanted to get you look a bit of a wrestler yourself i said a little flat brain helps in making friends now he starts making uh, these kind of flatty words now he starts uh, just using these kind of flatty words so that he could win the heart of anil and he says that anil looked like a wrestler as soon as he says that anil says so to you he says that he also looked the same he replied which put me off for a moment because at the time i was rather thin but when the narrator heard this he couldn't believe it because he thought that uh, he was merely 15 years old and even very thin rather than uh, anil so how can he be a wrestler he said well i said very modestly that means in a very simple way he says i do wrestle a bit well i need to say that uh, i wrestle a bit what's your name now anil asked his name he answered hari singh i lied i took a new name every month that kept me ahead of the police and my former employer telling a lie his uh, he replied that his name was hari singh however he used this uh, name uh, that is different names he used whenever he just wanted to cheat anyone else so he just uh, uh, implemented a new name and that was hari singh after this introduction anil talked about the well called wrestler who were grunting lifting and throwing each other about i didn't have much to say 
Anil walked away. I followed casually. Well, a very short introduction there was between the two. And uh, Anil started talking about uh, the well oiled wrestlers, the wrestlers who were wrestling there. They had been very oiled uh, on their bodies and they were just grunting uh, with pain and they were lifting each other and they were throwing each other there. Well, Hari Singh didn't have to say anything else. And in between this, Anil just walked from there and Hari Singh then decided to follow him back. When he was following him, Hari Singh said, Hello again. Well, I gave him my most appealing smile. I want to work for you. But I can't pay you. I can't pay you. Well, Hari Singh wanted to uh, do friendship with Anil so that he could uh, succeed in his uh, He could just uh, uh, be successful in his mission. He could succeed in, in his mission and that's why he just wanted to get in touch with him. He uh, smiled very politely uh, and his smile was very appealing, very attractive so that he could attract Anil uh, towards him. But uh, Anil said, he answered back that he couldn't pay him. Dosto, ye kahani hai, ek aise chur ki, jo ki is chapter mein apna naam hari singh batata hai. But he is also a Kahani Haye, Ruskin Bond Sahaki, The Thieves Story, Footprints Without Feet, the second chapter. This is a young boy who is a friendship with Anil. Anil is a Anil is a very simple person, 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 a very simple उससे दोस्ती कर ले और एक बार जब उसकी मुलाकात होती है अनिल से उस वक्त उसकी उम्र यानी कि इस चोर की जिस जो कि अपना नाम बाद में हरि सिंह बताता है उसकी उम्र महज 15 साल होती है और लेकिन उस 15 साल की उम्र में काफी एक्सपीरियंस हो गया था चोरी करने के मामले में या फिर पॉकेटिंग के मामले में काफी वो सक्सेस होता था और पलक चुपकते ही जैसे कि आंखों से काजल चुरा लेना इस तरह की अदाओं से आती थी जब पहली दफा वो अनिल से मिलता है उस वक्त अनिल एक रेसलिंग मैच कुश्ती का मैच देख रहा होता है जिसमें दोनों कुश्ती लड़ने वाले जो बंदे थे उन्होंने अपने शरीर पे तेल लगा रखा था ऑयलिंग कर रखी थी ताकि फिसलन हो सकती हो अनिल कोस ने देखा इस थीफ ने उस वक्त उसे उसकी उम्र लगभग 25 की दिखाई पड़ी दुबला पतला सा लेकिन लंबा सा व्यक्ति था वो लेकिन उसे देख के इस बात का अंदाजा लगाना बड़ा आसान था कि एक ऐसा बंदा था जिसे आराम से बिल्कुल बनाया जा सकता था इसे विश्वास में लेके इसे धोखा दिया जा सकता था इसलिए सबसे पहली चीज थी उसका कॉन्फ्रेंस जीतना और इस तरह से उसने उससे बात करने की कोशिश की उसके बहाने ढूंढने लगे कि उससे बात की जा सके और इसलिए मैं जब देख रहा था अनिल उस वक्त उसके पास पास पहुंचता है और उसे बोलता है कि तुम भी अपने आप में एक रेसलर लगते हो अनिल ने प्रट के उससे कहा कि तुम भी तो लगते हो उसने अपने आप को देखा इस थीफ ने और देखा कि मैं तो यार दुबला पतला सा इंसान हूं और दुबला पतला सा इंसान बड़ा रेसलर कैसे हो सकता है कुश्ती कैसे लड़ सकता है इधर कुश्ती का मैच चल रहा था थोड़ी देर के बाद अनिल जो होता है वो उठ के जा रहा होता है क्योंकि कुश्ती का मैच भले ही खत्म हो या ना हो लेकिन उसकी इच्छा वहां से चल रही थी धीरे-धीरे जब वो चल रहा था आगे बढ़ रहा था तो यहां पे उस बंदे ने जिसने अपना नाम हरि सिंह बताया था अनिल को वो भी उसके पीछे पीछे चल पड़ता है हालांकि अपना झूठा नाम बताया था उसने वो इसलिए ताकि पुलिस उसे नाम पकड़ सके या जा जहां उसने धोखा दिया था जिन लोगों को उन लोगों को उसके अलग-अलग नाम पता हो क्योंकि एक ही नाम एक शख्स को ढूंढना बड़ा आसान हो जाता है और पीछे जाते हुए उसने अनिल से चिल्लाते हुए कहा हेलो अरे सुनो भाई सुनो इसने पलट के देखा अनिल ने उसे और जब उसने पलट के देखा तो ये मुस्कुराहट के साथ उसे देख रहा था और इसके मुस्कुराहट में मानो की छल काफी ज्यादा था एक अट्रैक्शन था जो कि किसी को भी अपनी तरफ खींच सकता था एक तो इसकी उम्र 15 साल थी और उस समय इसकी मुस्कुराहट उसने कहा कि मैं आपके साथ काम करना चाहता हूं 
आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क फॉर यू मैं आपके लिए काम करना चाहता हूं टेम्पररी बेसिस पे लेकिन उस अनिल ने कहा पता है कांच भी लेकिन मेरे पास तो तुम्हें देने के लिए कुछ नहीं है मैं तुम्हें पे नहीं कर सकता वेल दैट्स द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर हैव लास्ट टाइम गुड डे